Whether you're new to sculpture or maybe you've been sculpting for a while, you've probably asked the question, what is the best sculpting clay? Well, for me, I've used this type of clay that I'm going to show you here for my whole life. My parents are artists. They've had a studio since I was born, so I've been around this stuff my whole life. I've never felt a need to try any other type of clay because this type of clay is so versatile. And this clay that I'm recommending is Roma Plastilina. That Now you may pronounce that different, but I pronounce it Plastilina. Um, this stuff is an oil-based clay. So you don't need to let it harden. You don't need to add water to it. The only thing you need to do if you want to soften it up is you heat it up. You can heat it up in your hands or you can put it in the oven or you can even put it in a pot like a countertop skillet. An electric skillet is really easy to use. If you put it in something like that, and it gets that hot, it'll just melt and turn to liquid. So you could actually use this stuff to pour it into a mold. Um, it, and if you cool it down to room temperature, it'll stay like it is. If you get it a little bit cooler, about 60 degrees or less, it'll get really hard. So it's just a matter of the temperature the clay is at for the hardness. Now I'll show you here, there's four different types. Number one, two, three, and four. Number one is what I would recommend for anyone who's first trying this out. It's the softest, okay? Or maybe number two, if you're doing really small pieces. I wouldn't go to number three or four unless you're maybe pouring a mold where you have a little tiny part that you want to add to the sculpture. Um, I'll show you here. The problem with that is here I think this is so this is number two now this is number two here and this stuff is pretty soft still but when you get to number three or four and you try to take two pieces and and you try to put them back together they tend not to stick and your sculpture will crack a lot so I would just stick to one or two um, let's see I think this one is Okay, this is number one. Now this stuff here is really soft, so you can just work it with your hands. See how I can work it like that. Um, all of it's easy to carve if you have a tool like that. I'll show you here if you get a harder type of clay. This is... So this is number three. It's not even the hardest type, but you can see it. it's kind of... It'll break like that. Okay, if you just move it a little bit, see how it kind of crumbles? Number four will really crumble on you. But it's great for carving if you have a solid block like this and you want to carve. It's really good for getting that detail. You know, that the other stuff you can carve too. It just stays a little bit softer in air temperature. So, like I said, I would stick to number one to start out. Uh, a brick like this is two pounds. A two pound brick is only $14 online, and that's for any hardness of the clay. So, it's really not that expensive. I would definitely recommend it and try it out. This stuff is just so easy to use. There's just no issues, no mixing with water anything it's i mean i love this stuff i would never use any other type of clay it's what professional artists use other types of clay i mean if you know any other brands that of clay that's similar to this leave a comment below i'd love to hear about it maybe try it out but this stuff has never failed me um i really don't see why you wouldn't try it out if you want to make a good sculpture because it's only 14 bucks that's really not that much. You know, shipping's going to be like maybe $5 or $7.
So just give it a try and see what you think. Um, it's really easy to add to an armature, especially that number one or two. You know, you just take pieces, work them in your hand, and then add them to the armature. And it's really easy to use. See, it's kind of it's kind of hard now, this stuff, but I just work it around like this. You know, it gets nice and soft right away. And then I can use it from there and it's really easy. So that's all I have today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys next week.